welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Des. In this channel, I'll be uploading videos about lifestyle, my travels, beauty and fashion. So for today's video, I'll be showing you how I do my makeup for work. So if you want to know how I get from this to this, then please keep on watching. Hi guys, so I've already prepped my face and I moisturized my face with the CeraVe. And then the next thing I do is prime my face with the e.l.f. Glow Up Primer Serum. As you can see, I'll be putting that on the palm of my hand and then just pressing it all over my face. So after applying my primer, I then go on with my foundation. I will be using the Dior Backstage Foundation for face and body. I start applying it by dotting it all over my face. I really like this foundation because you can build it up and it's not matte. It's on the dewy side and that's what I like when I am flying. So once I've applied foundation on my face, I start blending it with a damp beauty blender. I'm using the Real Technique sponge. So I just go and blend that until I've blended it all over my face. I don't really like putting foundation on my neck, so I'm not going to do that. So once I finish blending my foundation, I then go on with the concealer. So I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade number 10. I then apply it under my eye and on all the blemishes that I have. So now that I've finished applying the concealer, I will be blending it with the same beauty sponge. So now that it's all blended, I'll proceed with my eyebrows. I'll be using the Refi Brow Sculpt. So I really like this product because it makes your eyebrows so bushy and it keeps the hair in place. So I prefer to have bushy brows than a defined eyebrows. So once I finish doing that, I'll then just pull the lid off because it has a comb and a brush to brush the eyebrows and then I'll just brush it up. Now just look at how bushy it looks. So after I finish brushing my eyebrows, I then go on with the Refi Palmade. So it has a brush on the other side. I just dip that and then apply it on my eyebrows just to fill in the gaps.
I mean, just look at that. Can you see the difference? So I then move on to the next brow. And then I'm going to brush it again. So now I'll be using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette to bronze up my face. So after I finish bronzing, I will use the Hula by Benefit bronzer to contour my nose. Just to give it a definition. And then I'll use that as well to just contour my face as well. Just to make my face smaller. So now that I'm finished, I'll then powder my face with the Innisfree No Sebum Moisture Powder. I just normally put powder just around my T-zone and under my eye. So the reason why I put powder around the T-zone is because that's the only place that I get oily. So after I finish applying the powder on my face, I then move on with my eye. So I will be using the James by Morphe palette. Um, I'll be using two shades, one which are both browns, but one is lighter and one's darker. Now I'll be using the light one first, which is the color Pinch Me. I'll just put that all over my eyelid and then blend it. So once I finish applying the lighter brown, I'll then move on to the darker brown, which is the color T. So you don't really need to use this specific palette. You can use any other palette. It's just a lighter brown and the dark eyeshadow will be okay. So with that dark shadow, I'll be putting that on the outer crease and then just really blend it. So now I'm going to be applying the Play Colorize by Etude House so I'll be using this shade which is cinnamon pastry and then just applying that on my eyelid with my finger so once I finish applying the shadows I then use an eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. I do this many times because my eyelashes are very stubborn. So after curling my lashes, I will then put mascara on my eyelashes. I will be using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. 
and I'll just apply that on my lashes. So now that I've done applying my mascara, I'm going to move on to blusher. So I'll be using Life's a Peach by L'Oreal. And then just apply that on my cheeks. And apply that on the other side. This blusher is really buildable. I like to apply quite a lot. <laughs> and now let's move on to eyeliner. I will be using the Epic Ink Liner by NYX. I'll then just shake it up and then apply the eyeliner. So once I finish with eyeliner, I then curl my lashes again. And then I decided to apply that darker eyeshadow on the outer crease again. just to make it more defined I then apply more on the bottom lash line and now I'm going to move on with the lips so I'll be using the NYX lip liner to line my lips So once I finish lining my lips, I will then move on with my liquid lipstick by Fenty Beauty in the colour Uncensored and then I'll just apply that all over my lips. So I thought I finished and then I remembered something so I forgot to put the shimmer on the tear duct so that's what I'm going to do so I'll be using the shade Sugar Rust from the same palette that I had earlier which is the Etude House and just putting that on the tear duct so now let's tie my hair in that's it guys, that's the finished look. So this is my cabin crew makeup look. And that's the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified on my next upcoming video. And if you have any suggestions on my next video, please comment down below. Thank you.